the protagonist of several films and TV series, who built this castle in the 15th century for his lover. He's still looking for his deceased love. I wonder why were all these medieval and renaissance castles built so far away and why it has always been taking so long to get there. And more than that, I'm wondering uh, how long did it take the people back then to get there, you know, on horsebacks, without cars, without the roads, because they are usually so, so far away from bigger cities. So how long did it take them normally to travel from the castle to the city? And I guess, of course, they did not travel as often as we do nowadays. But it's been quite a long time since we are driving and today we are going to Castello di Torre Chiara, which is a beautiful uh, Renaissance castle near Parma. And the road there is quite long, but it's really, really beautiful. Oh guys, we have to climb up this street to get to the castle. It's 40 degrees outside. It's so, so, so hot. It's incredible. However, look at this view. How cool is this? I absolutely love it. At least the view is worth it, but I'm also sure that the castle will be worth it too. So let's go. Differently from so many other castles that we visit regularly, Torre Chiara Castle does not have a sad ghost story, you know, a, a murder story or anything like this. There was some noise there that is a little bit weird. I don't know. Someone should be there. A bit creepy. Anyway, we don't have any murder story here, but instead a love story of uh, the two people um, who fell in love despite being both married and decided to live here, uh, you know, through their love story, despite everything. Maria Rossi and that was the name of the count who built this castle in the 15th century for his lover Bianca Pellegrini who allegedly was married as well as the count. However, they allegedly used this uh, castle in order to spend time here to escape and according to the legend they spent their whole life here in Torre Chiara. And after their death it is said that the ghost of the count still haunts the castle saying nunc et semper to the people he encounters because he's still looking for his deceased love. While the ghost of Bianca could not uh, uh, enter the castle because the ghosts are said to not be able to cross the water and Bianca was buried across the river. So the mystery is here. We don't know exactly who is hunting this castle, but we know for sure that there is at least one ghost of the count and today we're gonna explore this legend and see for ourselves whether it is true or not. Guys, just look at these frescoes, they're perfectly conserved and you can enjoy them in basically each room of the Torre Chiara castle and this is spectacular. Also look at this blue paint that was made of lapis lazuli, a very expensive gemstone popular in that age.
the castle and this borg also used to be the protagonist of several films and tv series famous tv series like uh, borgia was filmed uh, here in this castle inside and outside and this castle also used to be uh, one of the main locations for the 1985 uh, film called lady hawk featuring michelle pfeiffer and matthew broderick and i think you know italy is basically the perfect uh, location for almost any film that is set in the medieval times and the renaissance times because you know it's an open-air museum there are so many castles there are so many medieval villages that uh, you don't need expensive uh, decorations and expensive sets in order to produce high quality um, period drama period film and i think this is one of the very peculiar things about this country that I personally love a lot because I'm a huge fan of period dramas and of period films. Tell me in the comments, by the way, whether you like them too. And uh, yes, you know, it's the cool thing that in Italy you can visit lots of uh, famous film locations, lots of uh, life, real life sets. And wow, I have no words. If you are a fan of uh, cinematic tourism, that's a thing. I don't know if that's a thing. Anyway, if you're a fan of visiting uh, set locations and film locations around the world, you definitely have to come to Italy. Make your research and you'll find lots and lots and lots of films that were filmed here. To climb up to the castle we had to get up this street and it was so so hot now we are getting back to the car parking and wow filming in summer is exhausting now guys i'm back to the parking this castle was definitely a 10 out of 10 it was so beautiful and i would highly recommend you to visit it if you happen to be in emilia romagna if you haven't if you happen to be near parma because it it's so worth it uh, especially if you like renaissance and medieval architecture or if you're a fan of uh, various films and visiting uh, film locations famous film locations uh, so yes this is definitely a must visit place in italy i also have uh, something new to announce today as probably I will move to uh, posting two videos a week because now with uh, this summer heat it's getting really really uh, difficult to film more videos uh, for three times per week so probably I will now uh, scale a little bit down to post two videos a week and that's it for today guys i hope you like this little travel vlog if you like this video don't forget to put a thumbs up comment and share it with your friends to support this project also if you're new here welcome to dramatical expatic please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get the notifications of the new videos thank you for being here and enjoy your day